Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich, and this is a rather geeky tutorial on how to change your logon screen in Windows XP and how to change the boot skin in Windows XP. Yeah, the boot splash screen is what you see when you first turn on the computer and Windows XP is actually loading, and the logon screen, which is, looks like this, is what you see when you log in. These can be changed to whatever you like. One of them you can make whatever you want. The other one, well, not so easy, but there are downloads you can get in order to change it out, and I'll show you how to do that. If uh, Let me just launch a web browser here. If we go to Google and we search for boot skin and then click I'm feeling lucky, it goes to the boot skin page. This is a free application. You can go ahead and download it. And for the, let me just go back screen here. For the logon loader, you just search for logon loader like this, and then click I'm feeling lucky, and it will go right to the logon loader. You can download that, also free. Okay. Bootskin is what I will cover first, and this is what it looks like. Now I have a, a different boot screen for my Windows XP Professional. I made it look like Windows 3.0, which I thought was kind of funny. It uh, goes to the days of old. And in order to do, this is what I did in order to get that to work. When you go into uh, your Windows Explorer, the directory is Program Files, Stardock, Win Customize, Boot Skin, Skins, and then you create a directory. I call the directory Win3OXP. That's what I named it. There are two files in here. There's the image itself, which is a 16 color, not 16 million, 16 color bitmap. Any graphics editing application is able to reduce colors to 16 colors. It has to be that. And it also has to be 640 by 480. And then there's one called bootskin.ini. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, if I open that up, it's only just a few lines. You start off with, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, bootskin and the type, which is zero. I don't know what that means, but I, you have to put it in there. You put the name in quotations. I called it Windows 3.0 XP. You put the author. I put my name here in quotes again. The description, which is the same as the name. And then screen, which is the exact name of the file, which is win3oxp.bmp. Again, I want to reiterate, this must be a 640 by 480 image 16 colors only has to conform to that in order to work and then after that I have a boot skin and I have the image then when I go into boot skin we have my selection here and uh, Windows 3.0 XP it says my author name and it says what it is and then when you hit preview if it shows up the way it's supposed to then you can go ahead and hit apply and it will work. If you hit preview and nothing happens, or if it shows a black screen, it's not going to work and you have to do it again. Now, uh, just so you know, if after you modify this, you want to go back to the default boot screen, you can scroll up to the top in the boot skin application and select default system boot screen. So you can go back. If you don't like it for whatever reason, you can go back and do it. Not a problem. Easy enough to do. Uh, when you're throwing on an image, you can use any image you want as long as, once again, 640 by 480, 16 colors. And now we'll move on to the logon loader. Now, I don't know how to make my own logon screens because they are quite involved, as they say. The standard logon screen looks like this. Uh, I have a bunch of different uh, boot screens. If I go to select a logon screen here, I actually made a directory on my hard drive called uh, let's see, I think I called it logon screen. Yeah, there it goes, logon screens. And this is a bunch of just uh, executable files, and they have to be executable files. And if you want to know where to get these logon screens, the best place to go is a place called DeviantArt. That's uh, D E V I A N T A R T dot com. And then all you have to do is search for Windows XP Logon and then click Search Art. And then down here we see a bunch of 
different boot screens. Like, for example, uh, we'll take this one. This one looks kind of funky. This is a very different logon screen, obviously. And then when we click on it, we can click download. And then it will download a zip file. And inside that zip is the executable file that we need in order to go and change that in logon loader. The executable itself isn't good enough. You can't just run it. You have to have logon loader in order to apply it. And then once we're in here, you select the one you want. Like, uh, let me just select a different one. I'll go back to my logon screen directory just to show you what it looks like. I have one called Vista logon that looks makes it look like Vista, so I hit open. And then down here it says your logon screen has been changed. Now, unfortunately, it won't really show a... Uh, it only shows the current one. It won't show a preview of it, unfortunately. That will happen when you log out of Windows and log back in. And the nice thing about this is that just like boot skin, you can go to reset to default logon. If I click that, it'll say your logon screen has been successfully reset at the bottom right of your screen. And that's essentially it. And that is how to do it. Now, um, I do want to say that when you're modifying logon screens and splash screens for boot, you should be very careful when you do this. You should make sure to use the proper format because if you don't, it can really screw up your windows. So uh, that's why I said this is kind of a geeky thing. It's only for those that are a little bit adventurous. And uh, But these these applications that I mentioned, the logon loader and the uh, spring boot skin back up, boot skin, I will say this boot skin works fantastic. Log on loader also works fantastic. You just have to make sure that you get, like I said, proper formatted files, images, and stuff like that. And you should be all set. So uh, that's a way to do it. And these two applications, above all others I've seen, work uh, very, very well. So I, unless there's anyone out there that knows any better applications to do this in Windows XP, I think this is the best way to do it. So uh, happy customizing, everyone.